Hi, it's Ursula from EasyScraps.com and today I'm going to combine a couple of different uh, previous lessons into a single one uh, for another idea of how to do a shabby chic wedding card or wedding invitation. Um, so right now what I have in front of me in Photoshop is just a plain green, like a layer just filled with green using the gradient tool. I printed that out and then I sanded the paper and scanned it back in and opened that up in Photoshop so it looks something like this. So we're going to use this in a couple of different ways and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a black and white image. So I'm going to do that using an adjustment layer. So I'm going to go down to my adjustment layers and I'm going to choose black and white. And then I'm going to take my green and make it much darker. I'm going to try and keep some of the white so I may not make it quite as dark. So I get something like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these current layers and I'm going to group them together and I'm I just want to save them as is because I may do a couple of things with um, this image here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it so I could either do copy merged or I can do control alt shift E and that makes a new layer of everything that's showing so I can turn this group off and now I have that to save just in case I need to go back to it. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another image and it's just a picture of a flower so if I shut off the frame or the sanded photo you can see the image of the flower. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back, turn on the layer of, with the sanded frame that's now black and white and we're going to play with blending modes and I play with these all the time. Um, I could give you the, no I couldn't, <laughs> I could say I could give you the mathematical um, behaviors behind how these blend modes work but I'd be lying because I don't really know. Um, I've listened to them, I've read about them, but I just basically sit here and I cycle through the different modes. So we can go through, and even if you like something but you're not quite sure you want it that strength, you can lower the opacity. So and that's not really what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go back and keep going through the blend modes until I get something. All right, that's kind of what I'm sort of looking for. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so that black and white sanded image is set to screen mode for blend mode. And see how it just lightens up the edges where the sanding is? And then you can still see the image in the middle. Okay, so this is how you could do it instead of printing out, you know, a hundred pictures of a flower and then sanding each and every one you could actually do this digitally and then I could print this whole thing um, on a printer and of course you could add writing and all that so but I want you to see now so now I'm going to shut off the flower image and I'm going to turn on an image of actually that's me my husband and I um, but again if you're working on a wedding invitation you might want to have a picture of the happy couple um, in on the invitation, but look how the screen mode looks with this particular photo. There's a lot of light down here, so that sanding doesn't really show. I'm not crazy about it. So here's another way we can use our sanding layer. I'm going to go back to my frame layer, and I'm going to hit Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. Um, actually that looks better so now if you can tell what's going on here I have a double layer and we're gonna get back to this I'm gonna do this again 
Um, I have a double layer with screen happening on both, so it basically doubles the effect. But really what I want to do is I want to shut off that first layer. I'm going to call this sanded frame adjust or blend. Sanded frame blend. So I'm going to leave that alone, turn it off, and that's going to be anytime I want to play around with blend modes, I'm going to use that layer. This copy I'm actually going to use as a brush or we're going to turn it into a brush. So if you remember um, in my previous lesson on how to create a brush, anything that's in black is going to grab the paint when you make a brush preset. So right now, the part of the image that I really want to be is part to actually be the brush is all this sanded piece, but that's white. So that actually wouldn't work. So what I have to do is I have to convert it. And so I can do that with control I or command I. Uh, so I could even go through, if I wanted to, I could go through blend modes and you might get a different look using a blend mode um, this way. But I'm going to shut off the, oops, I'm still in screen mode. That's why you're not seeing anything. Okay, so now we're back in normal mode. Everything that used to be black is now white. Everything that used to be white is now black. And so that is the sanding part. But I want this to be a little bit deeper. So here's one trick that I do when I have something that's kind of gray and I want it to just to be a little bit heavier, darker. I double it. So I do control J or actually you could come over here and do duplicate layer. It's the same thing. So command or control J or duplicate duplicate layer is the same. Then I'm going to go to the top layer and I'm going to choose either darken or multiply. So multiply is really working for me here and I'm going to use another shortcut control E or command E on a Mac and that's going to merge those two layers. So now I have a lot of black where the sanding is and that looks like it's going to make a great brush. So I can come up here, actually let's go turn on brush and let's do edit, define brush preset and you can sanded frame, you can call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it sanded frame. And so now my brush has become that new um, sanded frame brush. So I'm going to turn off this layer because we don't need it anymore because now I have it as a brush. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to turn on the layer of the happy couple. What I want to do though, right now my color is set to green, I'm going to pick something out of the picture itself. So maybe this kind of grayish, let's kind of do like a grayish blue. And then on my new layer I'm going to use that new brush preset to stamp. And now you can see it gives the sanded look, but it's got kind of a it's got a color to it, and it shows up a little bit better over the photo. If it's too much, you can always lower the opacity. You can redo it in a different color. It's completely up to you how you would like to finish it off. You can add a saying, you know, give the the name and the date for the wedding. And uh, again, print out multiple copies of these without having to do this by hand on each one individually. So I hope that helps, uh, gives you a couple of ideas of things you can do in Photoshop. Just using a plain piece of colored print that was printed out and sanded, brought back into Photoshop and then you can use it either as a layer using different blend modes to interact with layers underneath or you can turn it into a brush preset and use it that way. So thanks for joining me. See you next time.